Hey, this is JJ down here at ETR Truck Center in McDonough, Georgia. Today I'm going to show you what that grinding sound is inside your transmission when you're trying to take off in a gear and what you do to prevent it. All right, we're going to use our imagination a little bit here. We're pretending like this transmission is connected to an engine and the engine is running. Um, you've got the truck in neutral right now. Um, ideally, you would want it to stop just like this by mashing your clutch pedal down. Um, that would stop the transmission and allow you to put the transmission into gear. You would then begin to release your clutch pedal and it would start pulling power all the way down. Just note for yourself that that's third gear that I have this in right now. This is a 13 speed. And I would not recommend taking off in third. Um, I'll have another video on that later in the future. And I'm sorry for the voice over here. The audio was terrible. Um, as you'll hear here, we got some stuff going on in the background in just a minute. So I want you guys to hear what's going on when you hear that grinding sound. You gotta mash your clutch pedal down and it's not stopping the transmission. So you start hearing noises like this. What you're affecting are these three sliding clutches here with the gear that it runs with. You can see this sliding clutch was worn out, has a lot of wear on it. And if you put it into gear as it should be, and you gotta move it, it jumps out of gear. So essentially you've effectively worn out this gear by not having your clutch adjusted properly. And you keep hearing this sound over and over again. And you're tearing up the inside of these gears. You're wearing them out. You're wearing out the sliding clutches that run with them. And that's what you're affecting. You're not affecting the outside, these outside teeth. You're affecting the inside. That's what you're hearing grind in here when you mash it down. Finally, it'll go. You can wear out the gears and the sliding clutches the same way by not so floating your gears right. correctly, but this was improper clutch adjustment and taking off in too high all of a right, gear. All right, so let's look at how all this works. You got your two inch brake here. This is your clutch brake. If you look down the shaft, you'll see that there is a spline cut out. If you look at your brake, you see that you have these two little nipples that stick out. Slides right on just like that that keys the clutch brake to the shaft you can see where your clutch brake hits up against the input shaft cover on like this now we got this old throw out bearing from a clutch we took it apart to give you a visual demonstration but this this throw out bearing does two things when you mash the pedal down, it smashes itself up against the, the, the clutch brake and up against the input shaft cover there. And it relieves the pressure that the pressure plate has on the inside of it, allowing your engine to rotate and the clutch discs to free spin on the inside. That way you can release the clutch. So when you let your foot off the clutch, it releases the pressure you have at the two inch brake and it starts applying force through the pressure plate with all the springs around it, pushing the, all the clutch discs and everything else into the flywheel. Right now the engine is idling. You do not have your clutch mashed down. You apply your foot to the clutch and it locks the transmission down and keeps it from turning. That way you can put the truck into whatever gear position you're trying to go into. Now, if your clutch is out of adjustment, no matter how hard you press this, it's still gonna spin because your clutch brake and your throwout bearing are not making contact with one another 
and all of this stuff is just turning just like this when you mash the clutch down that's why it's you got to keep your clutch adjusted people think that their transmission is bad because they hear the sound every time they mash the clutch in it's it's your adjustment thank y'all very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and keep your clutch adjusted if you want to maintain the life of your transmission.